Unless Bungie is really bad with dates, the Igneous Hammer, aka one of my favorite PvP hand cannons ever, is returning to Trials this Friday, September 15th. Been waiting a long time for this baby to come back as I'm still on a big 120 RPM hand cannon kick lately. Today, how about we take a peek at our Christmas presents early, so to speak. We'll check out what rolls the new hammer can drop with and which ones you might want to think about going after. Remember, even if you don't go flawless, you can still get a hammer, it just won't be adept. And even though adept is highly preferred, remember what Abraham Lincoln said, non-adept igneous hammer is better than no igneous hammer at all. Trust me, I went to college. Depending on how hard you want to grind, there are some perks in column two I find okay. acceptable, but really there's only two if I'm being a perfectionist. Acceptable perks are APR, flared magwell, and light mag, while the perfectionist perks to me are either high cal or ricochet. High cal for flinching your opponent a teensy bit harder and ricochet for extra stability. My preference is ricochet for the extra stability, but if I get a god roll with high cal or even APR, eh, might be good enough for me. In column three, we got a bunch of great stuff. A lot of it looks great to me with the exception of maybe three perks in particular, one of them being slick draw. I know Bungie buffed that perk recently, but I still don't get down with it. Extra handling is definitely appreciated in PVP, but if I miss even one shot, I grit my teeth and mutter slick draw the same way Timmy's dad mentions Dingleberg. The other perk, which is an instant dismantle to me, is going to be Heal Clip. My expectations on that perk were moderate, but wow, I'm more disappointed in that perk than my parents are when I told them what streaming was. If you reload right after getting a kill, you get the saddest, teeniest amount of health back I've ever seen. I mean, yeah, there might be some potential there for some weird PvE cure build, but I'm hammer farming for straight PvP rolls only. Somebody wake me up when Heal Clip graduates from Weenie Hut Jr. and becomes Restoration Clip. Above Heal clip, but eh, not something I'm still really aiming for is fragile focus. Extra range is nice, but I don't like that it stops helping you out when your shields break, which is going to happen a lot in PvP. If you're really good at playing cover and peak shooting from downtown, you could get extra value out of fragile focus, but again, not really what I'm aiming for. The final four options are what I personally feel are acceptable, with maybe two on top that I want the most. Rapid hit is a solid perk for sure. I have that on my current Ig Ham, which I love rocking in PvP, so take that for what it's worth. It'll help you out a lot for using the weapon no differently than you normally would, which are the kind of perks I usually like the most on a primary weapon. I probably won't be hunting a rapid hit roll though, because again, I already got one. Encore is something I would absolutely hold on to if I got one to drop. That's something that'll reward you much more on a kill than something like heal clip. Stability, range, and accuracy on a kill? Yeah, I'ma take that, and a seven second duration ain't bad either. If I'm being honest though, the two perks I probably want the most are range finder or keep away. Rangefinder, you're up first. I know Bungie just did a big tweak to how zoom works in D2, but Rangefinder is still a great perk. Zoom is now decoupled from damage drop off, but Rangefinder still increases your accuracy, aim assist fall off distance, and stability to a degree. Put respect on that perk, far from dead. The other perk I really want on my Igham is Keep Away. Improved reload range and accuracy when no targets are within 15 meters of you. If an enemy is within 15 meters of me, it is conditional finality time, so 99% of the time I'm using my hammer, it should be benefiting from keep away. A free buff to range and accuracy on a primary weapon is crazy good on paper, and the proof is in the pudding. My crafted keep away round robin is one of my three favorite 120 RPM hand cannons in the game. It maps people and I love it to death. If you're going for a five out of five roll, keep away or range finder IMO. In column four, we've got some fun options on the table. There are some perks that I'd be less psyched to get though, just because I don't mesh with them personally starting with Frenzy. Don't get me wrong, if you can consistently get Frenzy to activate, good for you. Gemini Gesture Hunters who enjoy Mario Party-like minigames might be able to get some good value here, but I'm not a Gemini Hunter and don't like the being in combat for 12 seconds criteria. Too much for me to keep track of mentally and combat often moves way too quick for me to get much value. If you do get Frenzy up and running, you get 15% extra damage output, which is great, but I definitely think there's easier ways we can get that extra damage. Next under the less exciting umbrella is the new perk Precision Instrument. While you definitely can pop off with that perk, it'll only happen if you play perfectly, so use it at your own risk. Instrument gives your weapon more damage output every time you land a headshot for a short window of time. It caps off six total stacks, meaning at max power you're putting out 25% extra weapon damage, which is actually sick. Fairly risky though, the duration of each stack of extra damage is only about one and a quarter seconds, so you gotta have another target pretty nearby to take advantage of that damage. Oh, and if you miss one shot, you lose all your stacks immediately. Could be a fun perk in 6v6. Normally 120s kill in 
two headshots and one body shot, but at only three stacks, Instrument will let you one headshot and two body any enemy in PvP. Again, there's potential there for sure, but I want perks that are more likely to help me more frequently. Next under the less excited umbrella is Incandescent. Defeat a target will spread Scorch to those nearby. Now you definitely can get value out of this perk, especially if you're playing Control or any team in PvP where the enemy team is holding hands more often than an 80 year old couple at the park. The range on Scorch in PvP is apparently 8 meters, which admittedly, not bad. I've heard Grenader Jake talk about this perk being slept on in PvP, so at the very least, if I do get a hammer with that perk, I'm at least fiddle around with it. Who knows, I could be really surprised, but for now, not what I'm aiming for. Now we wade into the territory of perks I'm pretty interested in, starting with Golden Tricorn. Remember earlier I mentioned there's easier ways than Frenzy to get 15% extra damage? Well, here we are. On a weapon kill, Tricorn gives you 15% extra weapon damage for 7 seconds, which is great. Again, normally 120s will get you a kill in 2 headshots and 1 body shot, but with 15% more damage, you can actually hit hard enough to kill anyone in PvP with 1 headshot and 2 body shots, and a 7 second window is already way more forgiving than Precision Instrument. However, if you then get a matching nade or melee ability kill when Tricorn is active, you ramp up the damage to laughably dumb levels. 50% more weapon damage for 10 seconds. That'll literally let you kill some people in one headshot and one body shot and kill all players in two headshots. Tricorn is a great perk that has consistent moderate benefits and occasional insane benefits. If you're a young Ahamkara Tripmine Hunter in particular, well A, have fun in hell, but B, be on the lookout for Tricorn as it has big upsides for players like you. Opening shot and moving target are boring and basic and I love them both. Better aim assist when ADSing your weapon on moving target with a teeny tiny strafe buff and better aim, assist range, and accuracy on your next shot with opening shot, provided around three-ish seconds have gone by. Both of these are fine and they help you out a lot. I have opening shot on my crafted round robin. Yeah, yeah, I know. But Fallout, Kill Clip! Kill Clip unfortunately can't two-tap guardians at tier 10 Brazil, and because we're still in a Titan PvP meta, that is a lot of players. Opening shot is reliable and I dig it. Finally, we have what I'm probably looking for the most, Eye of the Storm. Better handling and tighter accuracy cone as your health gets lower. I love Eye of the Storm on hand cannons. Yeah, it doesn't help you 100% of the time, like moving target, but I definitely feel it kicking in during a 1v1 gunfight and it saves my bacon a ton. For masterwork, honestly, I would be happy with anything that isn't reload, with range being my preferred, followed by either stability or handling. For adept weapon mods, adept range, stability, Icarus grip, or targeting adjuster, take your pick. I know that adept targeting harms your stability kind of a lot, but I've been using it lately and I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. Don't tell anybody, I feel weird about it. All in all, perks I'd be happy to get on my PvPing Igham are as follows. Column 1, full bore, small bore, or hammer forged, but really at the end of the day, most barrels will probably be fine. Column 2, ricochet rounds or high cal rounds. Column 3, rangefinder, keep away or encore. And column 4, opening shot, moving target or eye of the storm. And masterwork, range, stability, or handling would all be fine with a preference for range. Good luck with your hammer hunting this weekend and feel free to send any god rolls you get my way on Twitter. Always love to see them. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.